Hi everybody, I'm Rex Osmond with MoreThanTalk.com and welcome to Cap Gung Ho. As you can see behind me, a lot of people walk around, a lot of people around. And this particular park that I'm at is actually in Cerritos. And a good portion of this park is maintained by volunteers. You know, if you think about volunteers, how to keep volunteers happy, you're going to learn, or you will have learned, about 10 things you need to do, absolutely need to do, to keep volunteers happy and keep them coming back to make things work. We're going to go through all 10. First one, number one is you need to be prepared. When they show up for something, be prepared for them. Don't, don't have them sit around waiting for you to have something for them to do. Be prepared and make sure that they're busy the minute they get there. If, you, if they're hanging out and not doing anything, that sends a message that you're not ready. Why should they be ready? The second thing you need to do with them is be welcoming. I tell people all the time, treat it just like it's a welcoming event. Make sure that when they show up, it's just like being at home. You know, make sure that they have, uh, you're letting them into their house, into your house. Show them where things are at. Show them around. Show them how things are done. Show them how things are accomplished. And it'll be a better opportunity for them to volunteer if they feel welcome. Third thing is have good training. Make sure you have good training. If you don't have good training, then why would they want to show up? If you just have half ass stuff, why would they want to stick around? Have good training, make sure the training is adequate, make sure it's specific to what they're doing, and make sure that it's something that works for them, right? Next thing you do is have interesting work for them. I heard the other day one of the folks saying that no one could go in and shred papers because that was boring, it wasn't important. No kidding. Why would you want to do it? If you're a volunteer, have something worthwhile and interesting for them to do. You know, they're not there to take the place of regular labor. They're there to supplement what you do and make things happen. Now, shredding's part of it. You make it part of it, but make sure there's an interesting part before or after it. Next thing you want to do is make sure you tell them how much time it's going to take. How much time will it take for you to be able to do the job? If it's going to take 10 minutes or 2 hours. These people are busy. They have other things to do. They schedule their lives around what's going on. If it's a senior volunteer, trust me, they schedule and it takes a little while. You don't want to screw with that schedule. You want to accommodate that schedule. You want to make them feel appreciated. You've heard that a bunch. People who feel appreciated, that's a sincere thank you, that's a card to their house sale and tell them thank you, or public recognition. It's easy to do. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Just say thank you and be sincere. Communicate with them. And we mean communicate often. Nothing worse than being a volunteer and not knowing what's going on. Make sure you connect with them. There's so many ways now. Newsletters, emails, in person, all kinds of things. Make sure you take the time to do that. There is no reason why you can't, especially in our world of technology. And we'll talk about social media later. That's one of the good ways to do it. Help them see that they make a difference. Whatever they do, make sure they understand they're making a difference. They're making a difference in the community. They're making a difference in uh, their neighborhood, in the world, whatever it is. You know? Make sure they understand. Finally is, make sure that they are socially connected. Socially connected is more than just through the media. Socially connected is, you'd never be surprised, you'd be a social matchmaker, especially if you're dealing with senior populations where people are widowed or by themselves. Show them that they could have, they could meet somebody to do something with, social. You can be that matchmaker. Finally, just make sure that, the, the last thing I try to stress to people is make sure they learn something new. People learn things new. You know, you and I are old, and they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah, you can. you got to make it interesting. You make it something they want to learn new. Now, these 10 things that I just read to you are on my website, morethantalk.com, and it'll be in the resource section. And they're there along with the entire presentation that I just made for a volunteer network. Make volunteering fun. If you have to, invite me over, and we'll have Camp Gung Ho at your place. So until then, enjoy your day. I'm going to enjoy my day here at the Cerritos Park, and it's a beautiful park. It's all about Paul Revere and, and independence and history. So spend some time and enjoy it. And I thank the volunteers for making it so nice. Have a good day.